get more at any time. All right. So one time I was teaching a group of teenagers and we were doing an all day program. So we went out for lunch across the street at a cafe. They had plasticware. So we're sitting in the cafe um, in one big table and I'm looking at my plastic spoon and I was thinking, I wonder what would happen if I tried to spoon bend the plasticware. Like, would it become too hot and burn my hands? Would it put out toxic fumes? Like, what would happen? And I didn't want to be the one to try it. So I'm like, hey, kids. <laughs> yeah, what do you think will happen? Worst babysitter ever, right? <laughs> what do you think will happen? And they're like, oh, what fun. And they all started bending. And, you know, most plasticware, if you try to bend it, it snaps, it shatters. And we were like bending it, twisting it, tying it in knots. Like, and they were having a blast. They're running over, grabbing more silver plasticware. And people were staring at our table. We didn't care. And then we realized. And by we, I mean one of the kids, but I'm taking credit, that the only reason the plasticware was so much easier to bend than the silverware was because we think plastic is easier to bend than silverware. So um, they got very excited when we got back to, you know, my studio and we were bending silverware. They were even better at it. And then they got bored. They were looking for a challenge. They went into my catering kitchen. They were grabbing my, like, cooking equipment. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, step away from the chafing dish. But there was a construction site going on right next door. They ran out and there was like rebar scraps that were, you know, to be taken to trash. They weren't stealing. It was rebar scraps. And they came in and they were twisting and bending rebar. One of them tied the rebar into a knot. You need to teach this to the construction workers that you put the rebar in all the wrong places. Oh my god. It would be so much easier. But now you guys can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so because of the plastic wear, we realized we could do rebar. So when you're doing it with your grandchildren, uh, you can buy some silver, like you can buy this on Amazon pretty cheap mm -hmm. um, or as a pro professional person, even cheaper through like Restaurant Depot or whatever. Uh -huh. uh, and then give them a box of like the multi-pack of plasticware, you know, like the 250, 300 one. Then their parents' silverware is safe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would be cool looking for Oh, they go for it all. They they're non discriminatory. I know of a guy who uh, does spoon bending professionally and a few other, you know, uh, PK skills. And this pretentious fellow was irritating him, like, prove it, prove it, you know, and all that stuff. So finally he said, um, give me your car keys. So the idiot did. And he took the guy's car key and he took, completely melted it and gave it back to him. <laughs> This was a while ago when you had this didn't really happen. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now, this is a fun technique, um, is you're going to become one with your spoon. All right. As a, now, here's the thing. Wiggle your fingers. Our fingers are malleable, right? And we've seen our silverware can be malleable. So when you hold the silverware in your hands, you are malleable together. If you can bend and the silverware is one with you, the silverware can bend. Now, what we're going to do is invite electricity, electric energy. It can be lightning energy. It can be imagining electric currency going through wires. 
very intense energy to come in. And if you want, you can bring it in through the top of the head, or if you want, you can just have it like in a circle loop, like in your arms, looping around. Um, and we will like send the electricity into the spoon. If there's anyone who has a pacemaker, be careful with this one. <laughs> okay, so hold your spoon and um, or fork or knife or whatever, rebar, whatever. Become one with the spoon. After all, there's not that much difference between a person and a spoon. We're all made of atoms, molecules. We are all existing in a dream reality. We are each and every one of us constantly changing shape and form. This spoon is not what it was 100 years ago. It's not what it was 10 years ago. We are not what we were 10 years ago. We're not what we will be any of us in about 10 minutes. Invite your spoon to be one with you. You may even feel it becoming melty, you know. You may feel it become soft and melty in your hands. Bring electric energy into you. It can be electric from lightning, that great lightning that's up in clouds on a summer night. It can be electric as is running through the lights at our computers. Bring the electric in. Let your hands and your spoon be electric together. Send the electric. You can send it even back and forth around or just let it ball up like a, like a light bulb radiating from the electric. And send electric back and forth between your hands. You and the spoon are one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.